hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by um this video i actually recorded a while back and i wanted to do a cleopatra look i had the wig for it so i just wanted to utilize the wig it was just sitting in my closet collecting dust so to start off this look i'm using the la girl pro concealer in the shade fawn i'm going to prime my lid with this like I said, I did this a while back, so um, how I do my makeup now is definitely different. I use the MAC Paint Pot. I don't use this anymore. I just feel like after a while, if I don't put enough on or set it right, like my oil will seep through, so I definitely don't do this anymore. And I feel like since I filmed this, my makeup has improved. So and now I'm taking the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. I just put it in this Sonia Kasha container and I'm going to set my eye. Now I realized that when you set your eyes and you use too much powder, the eyeshadows don't stick. So that's something else that I did learn. So I don't really put too much on, but in this video I definitely did. Now I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 um coal liner i guess you can call this and i'm going to cut my crease and this is not usually how i cut my crease but um for the sake of this video this is how i do it i usually don't use black to cut my crease but whatever it's just so hard to blend i'm going in the modern renaissance palette i'm taking raw sienna and burnt orange together on this sonia kashuk blending brush I'm going to try my best, try my best to blend out this black. I feel like blacks are just so, so hard to blend out. I'm taking Real Gar from the same palette on a Too Faced rounded dome brush. And I'm going to be blending that out further. I'm taking red ochre with that same brush, that same Too Faced rounded dome brush, and I'm going to be blending that on top. I do apologize, like I'm just so low in the screen, but you guys can still see what I'm doing. Now I'm taking Noir or Noir. The black shade from the oh what palette is this i forgot the name of this palette but it is from bh cosmetic i'm lying it's from anastasia guys <laughs> sorry it's early in the morning i'm just recording this i'm going to deepen up that black and blend it out with nothing on the brush but i am using the brush that i used for that red now I'm taking my MYX Say Matte But Not Flat Foundation in this shade Cinnamon Roll and I'm going to be cutting the crease once again but I'm going to shape it up this time. Now I'm using a random white pencil. I got this from Color Icon. You can get this in CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid. They're just a dollar. And I'm going to be going on top of that with this white from this BH Cosmetics palette. I cannot stand this palette. Like The color payoff for all these shades are so bad, but I'm just going to be using this white shade for today. I'm taking the Tardius Tarte Clay Liner with the brush that it comes with and I'm going to be doing some wing liner. Now I'm using the white that I placed there as a guide to make my liner and I'm not going to do like, like your typical liner. I'm going to bring it up into my outer corner of my eye and I'm going to try and blend that out. 
Now, if I was doing this today, I would have brought up that black a little bit more on the inner, well, the middle of my eye. Now I'm taking this Abella Gold from Milani, and I'm taking this Urban Decay brush. I did wet the shadow, and like I said, remember when I said that I um, set my eye, the color payoff doesn't come off that, that great. So this is what I'm talking about. This shade is amazing, but I needed a little bit more, so I went into my Naked palette and I took Half Baked and the same brush, and I'm just going to pack that right on top. This shade here, if I'm not mistaken, it's Bobbi Brown's um, Glow Compact. The only Bobby Brown only has two um, compacts, and the other one is like a very deep bronzy shade, and then it's this gold shade. So this is the gold one. But when I was working at Sephora, I definitely did take a sample of it. So just a little sample that I got. I'm taking the Tarte Tardiest clay liner and the brush it came with, and I'm just going to make the liner from my bottom and I'm going to bring it out in the front now as far as the liner goes um I usually don't bring my liner further out in the front because my eyes get watery and then it starts to look nasty so now I'm just taking this cat eyeliner in the shade green I believe this is by Jordana and I'm just going to put this underneath my my eye and bring it out so, of course, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Smashbox x rated and this Nuka K Mascara. This is a blue mascara. I'm using that one for my bottom lashes. I have these random Stardell lashes, and I'm going to be popping these on. They are super, super long. Not really what I would wear on a daily basis, but for this look, it was perfect. I'm using the Duo eyelash adhesive and I did have to cut them they were super long and the style this is SF199 so now I'm pushed back I'm going to spray my face with setting spray um, this is probably the Carly elixir setting spray that I use um and I'm taking my holy grail Lancome Tint Idol foundation in the shade 470 suede C and I'm using this Sephora brush now I stopped using this Sephora brush a long long time ago that's how I know this video is like super old but this brush was amazing but it just freaking shed on me so much on my face so I just stopped using it I did prime, but I didn't show you guys off camera with the Sunday Riley um, UFO oil and the Sunday Riley toning, um, the mattifying toner. And now I'm just taking the Kevin O'Clon concealer in the shade SX11. I wanted this Cleopatra look to be very highlighted under the eyes, so I'm definitely using that. And when I tell you, girl, like a little bit goes a long freaking way, like. I'm looking at this now and I put too much on like I just I put too much on it does blend out amazing so as you guys can see I moved down to under my um, like the bottom of my face and I did not use any product and I did my chin I did not use any product that's how much like when I say a little bit goes a long way it goes a long freaking way so now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to do down my nose and uh, I believe my forehead. So now I'm taking this Christian Dior cream that I got as gratis from so far, it does not have a shade, but um, it just came in like this plastic container. Like they took it out of the box probably and just like gave it to us. I'm just taking this um, and contouring. I still do use this product. I absolutely love it. It's very, very hard for me to find um, contour shades 
as far as cream powder or whatever so sometimes I use foundations that are just darker than me so I am going to be setting my face with the airsprung setting powder and I'm going to be using that on all the places that I've highlighted I absolutely love this stuff but I did stop using it recently because I got my Sasha buttercup and I also got this setting powder from Catrice when I worked at Generation Beauty this year and I actually do like it so this stuff I only use it when I use a concealer and I feel like it's not light enough and I, I feel like when I use um, lighter setting powders that it makes a concealer lighter so I was going actually for this look so now I'm just going to wait 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 and then I'm going to dust off the powder with my Sonia Kashuk brush this is I still use this brush till this day it's amazing I'm just going to make sure that everything is blended while I do this my highlight and my contour blended into each other seamlessly Now I'm going to take my Milani Tantastic Face and Body. I absolutely love, love, love this stuff. And I am using a Sunny Cashew brush also. And I got this brush set. I think it was like five brushes for like, it was on sale. I think it was $9.98 at Target. And I'm going to be using this all over my face. I still use this brush to this day. And it is amazing. And yeah, I'm just placing this everywhere all over my face. So now I'm taking my Black Radiance powder and Rich Mahogany. This did crack on me. I I don't know, like I probably dropped it and it cracked on me, but I still use it. I'm just going to place that on top of the Christian Dior contour that I made just to make everything pop. Let me just say, like my face is litty right now. And I'm taking that Bobbi Brown glow shade that I told you that I got a sample of and I'm just going to highlight with this like this stuff is amazing I'm going in to this shade from Anastasia this is a single that I got and I'm just going to pop that on top and I want to thank you guys for watching and coming back to my channel please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye